didn't start. From inside his own 15, looking for room. Probably needed to pick up an extra block or two, but as it is, he'll be stopped at the 28. offense with a fresh set of downs. Wide out in motion. The inside handoff. And he make the stop after a gain of three to the 31. Now that's what you're trying to do as a defense. Limit those damages when they run the football. Get them on the ground, short gains, to set your defense for positive situations down the road. He's looking to throw. Fires to the wideout. Got his man. He'll be stopped at the 41, but give him 10 on that play. Man, I love the defense. How about the physicality on that one? That's a tough route to defend, and he catches the football. But what does he do? He gets him on the ground right now. Good physical tackle. No yak on that catch. Touch pass on the jet sweep. He's there to make the stop, and they threw it in reverse, losing yardage on that play. I like offenses being creative. I'm not sure if that was the best place to call that play. I think this offense needs to think about just doing things a little bit more by the book. They've got a lot of good playmakers. You don't. Have and that pass picked off. Got some room to run. He's at the 40. He steps out of bounds, but not only does he get the ball back, what a return to set up his offense. And that's kind of a double whammy for this offense because on their opening drive, not only did they turn it over with the interception, but they've now set their defense up in a really tough spot deep in their own end. Got some room, headed to the goal line. And he'll finish the run in the end zone. Touchdown, Crimson Tide. Offense did exactly what it's supposed to do with a start like that one. When you're set up with that field position, you're thinking touchdowns. You're not thinking field goals. It's exactly what the offense does. Takes advantage of great field position. Throw to the end zone. It's picked off. About to kick it off after punching it in for the touchdown. From inside his own 15, let's see how far he can get. And he's able to pick his way through the traffic nicely for a good return on that one before he's brought down. So now the Longhorns take over and they'll send out the offense. Boy, they hope this next drive is more productive after throwing a pick last time, Jesse. Yeah, and the coaches did a good job on the sideline there, just talking to the young quarterback and making sure he's able to turn the page, calm him down, to go out and refocus this drive. Yeah, and some people do that better than others, but you got to show some trust in him, maybe get the ground game going, help around him a little bit with the system. Didn't get much done on that first play of the drive. It's second and 11. He's looking to throw. I don't think that's the way they drew it up. Incomplete. There's a lot of QBs that when they get hit and when they get hurried and when they get pressured, they become very average. Really nice job by the defense, pressure in the corner. A third and long coming up here. From the gun, wants to pass. Spits it out to the back. Another incompletion on third down. That's why it's so important for this defense to win first and second down. You set up third and longs like that, you can show your exotic looks, you can get the pass rush going, everybody on the back end expecting throw, and that's how you force incompletions and force fourth downs. Quick timeout call by the offense after the play. The Longhorns will punt it away on fourth down. The punter going to get his first work of the afternoon. On the return, it's Johnson. Everybody stays in their lanes well enough, and they stop him at the 31-yard line. The 
Tide offense rolls onto the field. Boy, David, they would love to stack another touchdown on top of that last drive. And this offense did such a good job on the last drive. Everything in rhythm, moved the ball down the field, didn't make those mistakes, Jesse. And they need to do it again on this one. Yeah, you're right. And they had the defense on their heels. You wonder what sort of communication was going on that sideline. What sort of changes were they able to make? Because they got to stop the bleeding right now. Dumps it to the back. A little too much on that one, just out of his reach. Well, the good news is he did a nice job reading the coverage. He knew exactly where to go with the football that time. Just a little bit too much on that pass. You wonder if that's just nerves. He's got to settle himself down. Scanning the field. It's rising. Throwing right. Another incompletion on third down. Third and long situations are really hard to convert. The defense knows it's going to be passed. The pass rushers are getting upfield. You're under pressure. You don't have timing. And as a result now, fourth down. Three straight misfires has left them staring at fourth and ten, but they'll try it again. He'll try to throw and pick up the first down. Going deep. And the deep shot is complete inside the 35-yard line. Touchdown time! And once he got loose, it was all over. QBs love their big tight ends, and especially guys that can do such great things after the catch. He catches it. Dang, Paul, he looks like a dang receiver after he catches the football. What a matchup nightmare, too, man. I mean, he's just too big for DBs to cover, and he's too fast for linebackers to cover. If I'm this QB, I'm looking that guy's way a lot more often than this one. Almost ready to kick it away after scoring the touchdown. From inside his own 10, let's see what he gets. Slips through the line. He'll be shoved out of bounds at the 39 after a good return on that one. And here comes the Texas offense back on the field. To say this has been a slow start is a bit of an understatement, and they really need to get it going here, Jesse. That's right. The opponent, they're firing on all cylinders right out of the gate. Offensively for this unit, they've been slow and struggling. They need an explosive play to wake themselves up. Yeah, and it's just the first quarter, so it's not the end of the world. You've seen slow starts, but you've got to continue to pick and pick and pick until you find that play or, or that scheme that you can use against this defense. After the incompletion, looking at second down. He's looking to throw. Unloads to the wideout. He got a hand in there, knocks it away incomplete. This defense is making life hard on the quarterback early in the game. We're only in the first quarter. They've already got a pick, and that time they swat another one away, man. They are breaking on the ball. They line up with some serious work to do if they want to convert this one. On third and long, he has to throw for it. Fires to the wideout. Can't make the connection on third down thanks to that tough, hard-nosed pass defense, and now it's fourth down. This is a point where you just got to be able to focus. And the critical down and distances in this game, like that third down right there, when it's a good throw, you got to make the catch. You've got to be able to make that play. Three straight incompletions and undaunted. They'll go for it on fourth and ten. He'll try to throw and pick up the first down. He's going to let one fly down the middle. Fires it into traffic and it's picked off. The sudden change on the turnover, and Manny was looking for running room. Couldn't find that, but they'll have it at the 22. This is obviously not a great start for this quarterback here. Two interceptions already in this game. He's got to do a much better job of his decision. Here comes that Alabama offense. They'll give it to the back. Solid run, picks up six and gets it to the 28. Well, it's plays like that that'll help this offense stay in rhythm all game long. If you can have that kind of success on first down running the football, it just opens up your entire playbook moving forward. Second down coming up. Quarterback checking the play. Texas, zero. On the 
We'll get this quarter going with a second down play. Looking to throw, it's rising. Trying to escape and get it himself. At the 40, there he goes. And he was loose and not stopped until he gets to the 47-yard line. It's just so hard to stop. There is no rhyme. There is no reason. He just scrambles around, makes people miss, and the next thing you know, you look up and he's 20, 30 yards down the field and there's nothing you can do about it. Looking to go up top on first down. Got it in the middle. It's Johnson. And the defense had that one well covered. Just a short game there. Nice completion here to this wide receiver. And you're going to see this receiver line up in different spots all over the field all game long. Defense has got to keep their eye on where this guy is because they know he's a big part of this offense's success. On second down, just keeps firing. Catch in the middle. It's grinding stool. They'll mark him down right there, but it is a big play, and they'll move the chains. The transition of Alabama quarterbacks over the years has been fascinating from the dreaded game manager label to playmaker. To playmaker, to spread it out, to Heisman winner. I mean, that's how... Rush coming in hot, and they got him at the 29. Now the offense has to overcome the negative play after the defense comes up with a sack. Here's the handoff. Nowhere to run on that one. He loses four on the carry. And there was no space, nowhere to go. That play went absolutely nowhere. Sometimes you just need a dude to show up and make a play, and he did. Sometimes you just need to block that dude, and they didn't. Deep shot for the end zone. Into double coverage, and he picked it off. And they capitalized not only on the pick, but the great return to give the offense tremendous field position. And when it's third and so long, it's very predictable. I'm bringing more DBs on the field. I'm bringing more speed. I know you're going to pass the football. So offenses have to be aggressive. They have to take shots. They did it there. The defense makes the big play. And here come the horns. They've got it again on offense. Not a lot of time left here in the half. Let's see if they can cut into this lead. And this drive isn't a must score, but man, you look at the scoreboard. You're down two scores. Jesse, you got a good opportunity. Create some momentum. Cut it to a one-score game. This is an important possession. Yeah, it's important to create that momentum now, David, to and not wait to get it going here at the start of the third quarter. You've got one drive here to get a couple of points. You've got to start erasing and chipping away at this deficit. This could be where the game turns right here. Win with the running game on first down, now back at it. On second down, looking again to throw. He uncorks one deep. And it's picked off for the third time today. Got room on the return. And they'll close in on him after a good return on the interception. He's just Johnny on the spot. And now his second interception of the game, doing a great job reading the quarterback's eyes. And he's just been in the right place at the right time making the play. The tied offense rolls onto the field. That last drive was promising for a while, but you just can't mess it up at the end with the pick, Jesse. No, you've got to be able to finish drives, especially in this game, if you're going to win. And, David, they've got to be able to eliminate the mental mistakes. Yeah, and I don't think you get conservative or play it safe. You can trust your guy. I think you put the ball right back in his hands and let him do his thing. And now on second down for this offense. Quarterback making adjustments with his receivers. Back to throw. It's rising. Gets it out fast. Across the 25. He's got room. Excellent job working through the air there, finding a hole in that defense and picking up a first down. Quarterbacks love receivers that can do damage once they have the football in his hands. No doubt there. Easy slant, completion, and then let your receiver go make hay once he has the ball. 
Going up top on first down. Catch in the middle, it's Johnson. After the pickup of nine, it's second and one. I love having guys that have the ability to make something happen after they catch a simple hitch route, right? Okay, give me some extra yards. Get me a first down after the play. Nice job by the wide receiver. Grabbed over the middle, it's Johnson. Touchdown, Alabama! That is the ultimate grab and go for the score. This offense right now, they're doing some damage through the air. That's now their second passing touchdown. They thought coming into this game, they were going to have some matchups on the perimeter of the field that they could take advantage of, and they've done that so far here today. They'll line up to go for two. They want to throw it. And he was hit just as he released it, and it falls to the turf. They got the late touchdown on the board, now about to kick it away and hoping the defense can keep them from answering. Just unloaded on that kickoff. Don't have to worry about a return on a kick like that. They'll bring it out to the 25. So Texas has it again, and here comes the offense. One of the most valuable things a quarterback can have, David, short-term memory. Just forget that last pick. You're dang right. Clear the mechanism. And he's still running after the move. And he was able to shed a tackle and pick up the first down before they finally get him on the ground. There's a timeout called as this offense tries to find a way to draw a little closer. Time dwindling away as they try to put points on the board right before the half. Trying to find his man on first down. Throws to the wideout. Grabbed in the middle. It's neighbors. And they got the defense on that one, and they get it to the 29-yard line. We got a timeout here late in the first half, and they'll try to get more points on the board before the break. final seconds of the first half and they'll try to put up three and this will be a bit of a challenge a 46 yard attempt from the right hash and he missed it no good and after the missed field goal the deficit is still 19 and the Longhorns will kick it away first and we'll start the second half He'll bring it back from inside his five. He just about popped that one for a long one, but as it is, he gives his team a lot of momentum with a solid return. Here comes that Alabama offense. They got plenty done through the air in the first half, and we'll see if they even need to look for balance as we start the third quarter. Well, and I, and I think defensively, you understand, like, the running game isn't a big part of the plan. I wonder how they adjust and play more coverage to this pass at the offense. Yeah, so you're going to have to be ready if you're a quarterback, then. You're probably going to see some different coverages. You might see a little bit more blitz in the second half as well. So you have to know where your answer is. They got nothing on the last play. It's second and ten. An unforced error there. They don't get the snap off in time. There's a difference between being methodical and thorough and slow. They were slow, and they got the flag. Now on second down. Looking downfield, it's Rising. Got his man on the outside. The defense wouldn't let him loose there, and it was a completion, but they lost yardage. Hey, on offense, you got to know when the play's over. Right. That one there, nowhere to go with it after he caught the football. You start trying to juke guys, you start trying to run backward. This ain't high school anymore. I mean, you used to be able to make that play years ago. You're not doing it here in big-time college football, though. Not good. So the decision has been made, and the coach will take the penalty. You make up the game plan and not a lot on the play sheet for this. Third and long from inside their own 20. And that's incomplete. A defender all over him. Knocked the ball to the ground. Fourth down coming up. 
And look, I know this offense made some adjustments at halftime, and they couldn't wait to get back out on the field and try to generate a score. But their defense is playing lights out. So to me right now, this is a no-brainer. After the incompletion on third, just punt it away and let your defense eat. Moving the running back, trying to get the D to tip its hand. Oh, he wants it all. Oh, he's playing with fire, and he's picked off. No real chance on the return, but they've got it at the 34. And they'll take over first and second. The Longhorn sending the offense back onto the field. We talk about settling for points, but sometimes when you have to settle for nothing, David, it can be demoralizing. Yeah, and it can definitely be frustrating. And I think it leads you to say, maybe I can go for it more. But Jesse, I think this offense just needs to put another drive together and just finish strong. Yeah, and, and be a little bit less predictable, too, especially as they get closer and closer down to the end zone. Wide receiver now comes in motion. And back to the air on second down. Gonna take a shot. And it slips through his fingers incomplete. That would have been a huge gain if he could have held on. Well, at this juncture in the game, with how the scoreboard looks, no question this offense is going to have to throw to get back in the game. And it's going to be tricky now because the defense is expecting it. You're going to throw into a lot of big zone coverages with everybody's eyes on the quarterback. Not going to be easy. And sure, tackling there to keep him from getting to the first down marker. With a double-digit deficit here in the second half, they're going to go for it on fourth down. He'll try to throw and pick up the first down. Well, the quarterback can make a big play when he starts moving around. The incomplete pass, fourth down fails, and they'll turn it over. Well, great defense on that one. They were ready for pass. And they forced the incompletion. They're coming off the field. That's a big win for this defense. He's dropped behind the line of scrimmage. That'll be a loss of three. So you get stuffed on first down. You had an idea of what you wanted to do on second, but I'm guessing it's back to the drawing board now. Yeah, you, you got to figure out who you are and what you are. Uh, what's your next best play? Or what is the defense going to do? If they've been aggressive, okay, well, if they've been aggressive, I'm going to throw that deep ball. If they've been sitting back, I'm going to sneak a draw again. Nowhere close on that one as he got thrilled trying to deliver the football, and now they face third down. They line up, and it is a long way to the sticks from here. Now the quarterback changing the original play call. On third and long, he'll need to push it downfield. Pulls it in. It's Johnson. On the move at the 30. That is exactly what you're looking for when you talk explosive plays. The defense finally able to make the stop. First down for the offense. A new set of downs after the completion. Get set, get set. Gorilla. Looking for a man. It's rising. Quick completion on the out route. Didn't pick up a lot there. Moved it forward just a few. Well, that's one the DB, I think, would like to have back. Out route, he was in man coverage. If he could have just got out of his break a little bit sooner, he might have had a chance to intercept that one and take it to the house. The option look. Now the pitch. Tough running this deep in the red zone. He's got four down to the 11. I think they called that knowing they weren't going to hit a home run. So why would you call it that? Well, you call it so third down becomes a you're down. It's not third and long where I have to pass the football. Now all options on the table. Boy, they'd love to pick up this conversion and go to work with a first and goal. And he gets the first down, but man, did he get the hit stick laid on his noggin. 
Timeout called there by the defense, desperate to get the ball back and save as much time as possible. On first and goal, let's see if Alabama can get it in the end zone. They'll try to get it in with the run. And a good, solid pickup for the defense cuts him down. I think you have to like what you see if you're the coaching staff here. Your offense is on the field, and it looks like you got a pretty good drive going, and you're just going to try and keep this thing marching, keep the clock ticking. You've got a really nice lead here late. Just want to find ways to keep the chains moving. They're doing it. Got five on that last one. Now how aggressive will they be on second and inches? Defense uses a timeout quickly, trying to get that ball back and preserve time for their offense. They're facing a third down. And it looks as if the offense will just take a knee. Ready? This defense trying to stand tall on fourth and goal from the two. Offense calls a timeout here, critically important to make timeout. sure they have the right play called and everyone on the same page here. They've already put this game in a hammer lock and now they'll go for the submission hold on fourth and goal. They stop him short of the marker and they'll turn it over on downs. It is what it is, there's no pressure. This, this game's over. You're up by a ton of points. They're not gonna come back here in the fourth quarter. So you're just trying to put up more stats. And listen, stats count. Like, I, we all count our stats. At the end of the season, we look up, you got 1,000 yards receiving. Like, all these plays still matter. Out of the gun, the running back has it. And just wedges it ahead a bit before he's brought down. They'll hurry to the line with the clock still running. The give to the tailback. And he doesn't find much running room, a short gain on the play. After the strong run on second down, third down coming. Do they do it again? Out of the gun, the inside handoff to the running back. Did everything he could to discard the tacklers, but he was just able to get back to where he started. Someone moved a little early, and the offense will go backward. The officials offer the deal, and the coach accepts it. They will take the penalty. Okay. This offense has failed on its previous two fourth down attempts, but they need to keep this drive alive. Easy. He'll try to throw and pick up the first down. He's taking a deep shot. Can't complete the long throw, and the defense gets off the field on fourth down. And, and I get it. At this point in the second half, dude, we got to make something happen. We, we haven't been good enough. we got to score a lot of points, and quickly, you got to be aggressive. They tried. They failed again. Uh, this game is all but over. Quarterback moving. Coming after it. And here's a fumble way behind the line. The defense snatches it, and they're going the other way. The 20. The 10. Touchdown, Texas. The defense takes matters into their own hands. That ball was squirting around on the field, finally corralled by the defense, and they turn it into six. And it's so hard defensively. Do I jump on it and make sure I get it, or do I scoop it up and try to make the big play? He chose to scoop it up, and it pays off, makes the big play, gets the touchdown. They're trying to get to it. The pressure gets to him. Quarterback is sacked, and the two-point attempt is denied, and the lead stays right where it is. Winning those individual six-second battles every play, time after time after time after time, and that leads to a victory here.
And I love when teams go out and play like it's sudden death. Like if they lose the game, their entire season is over. This game wasn't for the national championship, but wouldn't, you wouldn't know that watching this winning team, David. Tremendous effort and tremendous execution. Now, I love competitive people. I love competitive coaches. I love competitive teams that they know that their job is to go out and get a W no matter how, no matter where you play. You want to play in the parking lot? We'll go meet you. Great job of this team being ready, getting the W. That's going to